Hello, and thank you for watching The Righteous Kitchen, a cooking and baking blog found at www.therighteouskitchen.blogspot.com. Today I am in the kitchen with my original recipe for ambrosia. Now this recipe, um, I explain it on my website at www therighteouskitchen.blogspot.com. I explain on there that this recipe um, went through some trial and error. I started out with um, the first go around just kind of getting a feel to see if my family would like the ambrosia and I used Cool Whip. Well, that was a big mistake as my uh, mother-in-law called me out on it. Now you have to understand she's a really fabulous cook and she's from Texas where they eat a lot of ambrosia. So she told me you have to make it with whipped cream. Now who am I to argue with that? I mean whipped cream is pretty fabulous, right? So so I did tinker around with this. I, I used her suggestion and I used the whipped cream and then I thought I would get really fancy and use um, you know, fresh fruit and different things like that. And then that's when I got um, backlash from the rest of the family because for some reason the fresh fruit just didn't work um, with the heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna walk you through the final result that everybody agrees on. And uh, I'm not changing it anymore. I'm just going to keep it just like this because this is really good. Okay, so let me come over here and turn over here to the mixer so you can see what's going on there. So we're going to start, uh, like my mother-in-law said, and use heavy whipping cream. So we've got two cups of heavy whipping cream. And to that, we're going to add one quarter cup sugar. And then we're going to use our wire whisk and we're going to beat this. Start out low and then bring it up to high. But we want a nice, uh, thick uh, whipping cream. So we're going to want stiff peaks on this. And I'm going to need to plug it in so that this machine will actually work. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get that whipped up for you. We'll come back and then we'll put the rest of the ingredients together. Okay, we're back from uh, mixing the heavy whipping cream. And you can see it's really nice and thick. And it's holding a stiff peak. So we are done with the mixer. And what you're going to do at this point is stir in either uh, sour cream or Greek yogurt. It doesn't matter um, which one. It gives just a little uh, bit of tanginess and it helps to break up all the sweetness from the rest of the ingredients. So we just stir that in. And then to this, let me move this bowl. We have a uh, crushed pineapple and I've taken that and strained it very well. You want to just get in there and press it with your hand and get all the excess moisture off of it. You want it really uh, as dry as you can get it. And then once that was um, done, I also did uh, same thing, but I didn't press these. You just strain out the mandarin oranges and just get all the liquid off of those. So we're going to put in the crushed pineapple. And then the mandarin oranges. And then I think my favorite part of this 
uh, recipe is the maraschino cherries. And I just get a small jar. And what I like to do with them is I cut them in half and then each half I cut into quarters. Because I, I don't want them, if you were to chop them, they could get really small and stuff. I want you to see uh, these chunks in there. So I just do that. Have them and then quarter them. And then, like I said, we want all of our fruit to be nice and dry. So I'm going to take these and press them in a paper towel. Now I already had most of them pressed before. But just press those really well. And then that goes in to the mixture. And um, when you're straining the pineapple and the uh, mandarin oranges, save that juice. It makes really good punch. So you could add this to your favorite punch recipe. All right. Then we have three cups of marshmallows. And we have seven ounces of sweetened flaked coconut. But what I'm going to do before I add the coconut is give this a mix because I have one person in the family that can't eat coconut. So I like to um, reserve some of this without the coconut. But just fold it. You don't really want to break up the oranges. So just fold it all around. All right, now I will get some of this out of here. Okay, now, here goes the coconut. That coconut smells really good. And this is it. We serve this, or I serve this, um, for just about every holiday, they always ask for it. So, I think one person just shows up only for this. <laughs> All right, so there it is. So I will go ahead and put this into a serving bowl. This is great if you make it the day before or um, it'll tighten up on you. Uh, those uh, marshmallows kind of like tighten up all this whipping cream. So you could do it the day before or if you like it really smooth like you just made it, um, you could drain all of your fruits and have them in a bowl and then whip up the uh, cream and just fold it all together the morning of your party. But either way is fine. And there we have it. A beautiful ambrosia and I will put the
link up to that blog so you can get the written uh, recipe. But there it is. What a quick and fabulous dessert. I mean, it's an old Southern classic for a reason. Okay, once you get everything mixed up, uh, this is a tip I got from my grandmother. Whenever you're going to store something like this, a salad, um, pudding, coleslaw, potato salad especially, um, once you put the lid on this and uh, put it in the refrigerator, it could get moisture. So you don't want um, everything that we've taken our time and we've strained and dried our fruit and everything. We were making really, uh, being really careful about our texture and our moisture content in this. We don't want to take all that hard work and then have this uh, to develop moisture and ruin our dish. So I've taken a couple of nice uh, quality uh, paper towels and I'm going to just put it in here and I don't want to really mash it up against everything. I just want this in here to absorb any moisture. Then you just put the lid on it and refrigerate it uh, until it's needed. But that tip right there, use it especially for macaroni salads, potato salads, or anything like that. And it's going to uh, keep your dish from getting soggy. And this here especially, we do not want it soggy. All right. Thank you for watching. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, uh, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you. Have a great day.